Hello, I'm RJ Dent. I'm in my library and uh, today I'm going to be looking at the uh, works that I have in my collection of um, by Ian McEwan. Okay, English novelist, um, studied I believe at the uh, University of East Anglia and uh, Malcolm Bradbury if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, um, so what I would like to do is let me, let me take them through in um, in sequence because that will probably work better. Uh, right, so what we have here then is the um, the very first one he wrote, a uh, collection of short stories, First Love, Last Rites. Um, wonderful collection of short stories, very, very wonderful. Um, it, unsettling, solid geometry which he made into a play later on. Yeah, fantastic. Cocker at the theatre, very amusing. Um, in between the sheets, another collection of short stories. As you can see, some quite uh, quite interesting covers there. Um, again, another very nice um, collection of short stories here. Um, two fragments. Oh, in between the sheets itself. Yeah, all, all good. Um, this is the one that really made people pay attention. His first sort of novel, The Cement Garden, about a brother and sister who um, their parents die and it's about their relationship. And it's, um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good novel actually. Um, unsettling. This one, probably my own personal favourite, is The Comfort of Strangers, made into a film by Paul Schrader. Um, Couple go to Venice. I think Rupert Everett and Miranda, Miranda Richardson. Really. I'm not sure about that, but I know it's I know it's and uh, and Christopher Walken. Um, anyway, excellent. Oh, and Helen Mirren. Anyway, a really good. Love and Death in Venice is the sort of theme of it, and it's an absolutely compelling novel. Short novel, but powerful. Worth reading. My favourite one of McEwan's. This one. Child in Time, about um, the aftermath when a couple have their child uh, stolen, and it's how they deal with it and what they try and do to um, get the child back. And it's um, yeah, again another unsettling story. Uh, this one is um, spy story, and it's uh, it says now a major film with looks like Anthony Hopkins. Um, Anyway, it's um, yeah, it's a yeah, it's a spy story. Very set in Berlin, and it's um, yeah, very very enjoyable. Again, unsettling. Uh, the one that um, uh, Enduring Love made into a film with um, Chappie plays James Bond, um, Daniel Craig, he's in it, and so is Reese fans and it's. Um, a balloon as a balloon accident, and then a uh, chap being bothered by um, a very psychotic, almost psychopathic stalker. Absolutely fantastic. Um, really good. Atonement, um, also another one made into a film. This is about uh, a child who lies about somebody and causes them, causes misery in their lives. Uh, because of her lies and how she tries to uh, make amends for that and it's an absolutely fantastic story wonderful and then finally this one here is um, it's a set of plays it's the imitation game uh, solid geometry which was um, one of the short stories from the collection made into a um, play for television um, starring Ewan McGregor if I remember correctly and then the imitation game itself. And that is my Ian McEwan um, collection of novels of which I'm very proud.